Well, I founded Digitality Agency three years ago when I arrived in Dubai. Uh, I was 21. Now I'm getting older, not old yet, but older. Uh, we are a team of 24. So between Dubai and Eastern Europe, we have the team in uh, Moldova and Ukraine. And we do three, we provide three services, uh, websites, apps, and SEO. And we have built more than 350 websites in a bit more than two years now. So yeah, was looking into new acquisition channels mm. because we wanted to be less, depending less on, on my network. So we discovered Saltlist, and what was interesting to us is that the leads were already quite warm, because um, we cannot, at least we don't, spend time explaining why somebody needs a website. For mm. other services, like upsell services, we, we do, but for websites, we cannot. If, if like a business owner needs to be convinced that a website is useful in 2024, we are not a good fit. We are not saying that they are dumb or they don't under understand business, but we are just not a good fit. So that's what we appreciated from the very beginning. And actually the very first leads that we got through Saltlist were quite qualified. Like in three months, we got three clients, which is actually not bad. Um, there were clients in Europe mm -hmm. and it was not a problem for them that we were abroad. Uh, we were very clear about that. Um, we had like some smaller projects like landing pages and some larger platforms um, like marketplaces. Uh, so it was yeah, quite interesting. You mentioned already three projects in, in three months, which yeah. is quite nice. How, do you remember how that looked like from, let's say, a funnel perspective in terms of leads to meetings to um, two, two projects, one? I think it's one out of five that we are able to convert. And one thing that we understood with um, after a few months is that a lot of prospects might not be ready now, but we should kind of keep them around uh, and keep them in our ecosystem and not push them too much. But at the same time, we don't we should not like uh, let them away without mm -hmm. keeping in touch. Um, and we have seen that some of them after month. They, they came back to us um, at the moment they were ready. So we stayed top of mind. Um, what I can say as well is at the beginning, we had a lot of leads from Europe. Uh, and now we tend to have a lot more from Dubai. And we were a bit afraid of the quality of the leads in Dubai. And actually, it's really not bad. Um, we got some through that uh, through the listing discovered us. Uh, liked our um, portfolio um, and they were actually pretty solid projects. Mm. One was uh, 3,000, the other one 5,000. So this was over the summer during like a lower month. And they told us that what made the difference is our approach mm. um, and our price as well. But it was approach, price, and also they all liked uh, the fact that we organize events. I don't know if do as well SEA and, 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 and these kind of channels, um, but that must be favorable in terms of the conversion rate. It is, it is. And uh, the fact is I have one of my more junior sales guy handling Saltis. And it's very not humble, but if I was closing, it would be higher. Could you estimate how much business you've, you've won on Saltlist um, in terms of your... So for sure it's more than 20,000. I would say it's 30, 40,000 euros about that. So it's definitely profitable. I believe that if, if we were focusing on it more and putting more resources in it, the volume would be much higher. I, I, I believe we could do 60 to 80,000 a year through Saltlist, mm -hmm. which is yeah. quite solid. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And, and it gives you ROI? I would say, if you ask me, it's around three to four. I would say that's within this range. Yeah. So quite solid. And that's good. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, would you recommend Saltlist to a friend or a colleague? Actually, and, I and do it. Thank you. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry I interrupted you, but yeah. I recommend Saltlist a lot. I recommended it to a friend who is doing um, um, AI, actually. He has an AI agency uh, and to a few more people. Um, and when I'm asked if it makes sense, because I know a lot of agency owners, I'm always positive. Um, it will be profitable, more or less, but it's not risky. And what's the risk, actually? It's 150 euros a month. 
don't think it's even for freelancers. I don't know if they're even allowed in the platform, but oh, sorry. <laughs> but uh, even for smaller agencies who are starting, uh, it does make sense. It's not like a huge expense, I, I believe. 